Hey, this is Dennis. It's Wednesday. It's time to get back in our Bible study. We're in the book of Matthew, chapter 26. And we're going to begin at verse 47 and go through 56. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas. So this is while Jesus is talking. While Jesus yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves, big old, I guess, big shepherd staves, from the chief priests and elders of the people. So, the chief priests and the elders were the big dogs in the Jewish church. It'd be like our Protestant church. It'd be your deacons and preachers and people in the church. And here Judas is betraying Jesus and a bunch of religious people are coming with swords and staves to take Jesus, the Son of God. That's shame. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, that's Judas, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he in holding fast. Whoever I kiss, that's going to be the one. That's going to be Jesus and y'all holding fast. So Judas is going to betray Jesus with a kiss. Beautiful. And forthwith he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. And Jesus said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? So Jesus calls Judas a friend. I find that very interesting. Where do you come from, Judas? But Jesus knew all the time Judas was going to betray him. But yet, Jesus still called him a friend. I'd say it's more like a hypocrite. Then came they and laid hands on Jesus and took him. So they come up, laid hands on Jesus, and behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand, drew his sword, and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. I'm not positive, but I think that was Peter that I had read in another gospel. Don't hold me to that. But anyhow, one of the people that's with Jesus pulled out his sword. He had a weapon. And cut this fellow's ear off. He was a servant of the high priest. And Jesus said unto him, the one that had cut off one of the high priest's servants here, Jesus told him, put away your sword, put it back in its place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Then this is real interesting what Jesus says right here in verse 53. Thinkest thou that I cannot pray to my Father and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. A couple of things here are real important. Another thing, here we got Jesus praying to his, saying he could pray to his heavenly father and asked him. And he had presently, right then, boom, sent 12 legions of angels. So one thing, that throws another wrench in the oneness doctrine. Because Jesus is talking about, he's, I mean, the oneness doctrine, they believe that Jesus is the Father. But Jesus himself saying here, I can pray and ask my Father, boom, instantly he'd send 12 legions of angels. You know, I looked it up. A legion is 6,000. 
12 legions would be 72,000 angels. I want y'all to get a grip on this. Jesus said, I could ask my father, and he is right now, that quick, it's saying 72,000 angels. And I read in the Old Testament where one angel went into a camp. Don't hold me to it. I'd have to look it up. I'm not positive. I believe in one night, this one angel killed like 80-something thousand people, soldiers. One angel. And Jesus saying, I could ask my father right now, he'd send 72,000. 72,000 angels. Jesus is saying, yeah, you got your hands on me. But I'm letting you do it. I'm going to let y'all get away with it. Because I could ask my father, and he'd come down and just clean the floor with y'all. <clears throat> Jesus said, But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled? that thus it must be. So Jesus saying, you know, I could call these angels. I could wipe y'all out that quick. He said, but this is the way it's got to go. This is the way it's got to be. In that same hour said Jesus to the multitude, are you come out as against a thief with swords and staves? For to take me. And that's another thing. You're looking at religious people, even in Protestant churches. You know, if you don't go just right with the program, they not, might not bring swords and staves. But I bet you they'd show you the front door real quick. They'd find a way to get you on down the road. And Jesus wasn't playing... They, they played the pipe, but he wouldn't dance into their tune. So they decided they were going to take him out. Jesus said, I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, in the church. I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, the church. And you laid no hold on me. You didn't put a finger on me. But all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. And this is the last thing, and I'll shut up. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. They took Jesus and every one of the disciples, and I'm not going to throw any rocks at them. I'm sure they were scared to death. And, and all this had to play out the way the prophets said it was going to play out in the Scripture. But all the disciples forsook him and fled. I know we've all sinned and fallen short. Well, God bless y'all. Have a good day. Bye-bye.